estimates 470,000 children in America live with epilepsy, and for nearly half of those children, multiple drugs and brain surgery have had little to no effect. Researchers in Seattle are now testing different types of drugs, and as our Haley Hernandez reports, they're really excited about these early results. 19-year-old Shanahan Damarell has had epileptic seizures for 14 years, despite taking five anti-seizure meds daily and having two brain surgeries. You know that feeling like when somebody tips your chair back and you get that feeling in the back just like that? AJ. Plus, Doctors Russ there? Senato and Jason Houtman theorize that targeting a protein pathway called mTOR could help. It's overactive with epilepsy. Nabrapamycin inhibits the pathway. Our thought is that by changing the way this protein acts in these children with epilepsy, we can in turn change their epilepsy. Shanahan was in the phase one trial, three infusions once a week, and his mom noticed changes. The seizures were definitely shorter. They were different um, and much more manageable. He didn't have any side effects except for uh, one bloody nose. and. At the end of five weeks, he didn't have any more seizures. His mom says he's had three seizures a month since the trial, compared to four a week before. Just lessened the seizures. Mm. It did that, which was a thrill, to be honest. The researchers at Seattle Children's Hospital are encouraged and looking ahead to the next trial. We're going for improvement, and even that would be a win in my book for these children and we're hoping for a cure. A slightly different version of the drug is approved for other diseases, which could expedite getting it to the public after trials. Seattle Children's is recruiting for another phase one trial, hoping to launch phase two in the next year or so. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.